ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Hopkinton High School turf fields for Hopkinton Hillers Senior Ruth Baseball as we are ready to get game three between Hopkinton and Framingham started. The first pitch from Vinny Perpera to Cody Coleman is going to be ball one. This series tied out one apiece. The winner moves on to the championship round as this is hit up the right side. Glove by the first baseman. And Barker Hooks steps on first base for the first out. That'll bring up Luke Spring, the third baseman. Let's take a look at the Hopkinton Hillers diamond. Vinny Preppera on the mound. Dylan Locke behind the plate. Alex Barker Hook at first base. Cam Jarrett at second base. Ethan DeYoung at shortstop. Ronnie Sheamus at third base. Wind up and the pitch, a little high. From left to right, Mike Burney, Tommy Ambersoni, and Connor Kelly. For Framingham, Cody Coleman started things off with a grounder to first base. Wind up and the pitch, outside. Luke Spring, the third baseman, batting now. He's second in the order. Alex Rivera, the shortstop, hitting third. Nate Thurber, the second baseman, hitting cleanup. Rodrigo Ramirez, the extra hitter, hitting fifth. Nick Spring, the right fielder, hitting sixth. Andrew Keene, the center fielder, hitting seventh. Outside, 3-0. Brian O'Donnell, the first baseman, hitting eighth. Nate Thurber, the second baseman, hitting ninth. And Nick Parja, the pitcher, hitting tenth for Framingham. There's a strike. Tom Nappy on the call. John Ritz on camera for this Hopkinton Hillers Senior Ruth playoff baseball game against Framingham. Game three of the three-game series. And that'll fill up the count. Three and two on spring. The winner of this game advances to take on Marlboro. Those games would be Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. As this is hit up the left side. Glove by the third baseman. Throw to first. Not a problem. Two away. Five to three on the grounder. That'll bring up Alex Rivera, the shortstop. Alexis Rivera stepping in. Hopkinton is the first seed, so they would be the host team of the championship round. Shall they win today? And of course, if Framingham wins, they would advance to play Marlboro as Rivera takes strike one. Marlboro took down Medway in the best of three series. Prepara set to deal, and this is hit high in the air. Right side, ranging over is the second baseman to make the catch, and just like that, we are through the top of the first. One, two, three, they go. The Hopkinton Hillers coming up on H Cam. Tommy Ambersoni over at first base. Wind up and the pitch. And this is up the left side. Glove by the third baseman. Throw to second, they get one. Throw to first, not in time. So Seamus reaches this via the six to four force out, and that'll bring up Connor Kelly, the right fielder. Hiller is taking down Framingham at Bowditch Field in game two, seven to one to force the game three. Framingham won against a shorthanded Hillers team in game one, five to three this past Saturday. There's a strike. Slight lead at first. Check in. And Sheamus is back safely. Wind up and the pitch. There's a breaking pitch outside. One and two is the count. Up high, two and two. Lined up and the pitch, fouled away. Two and two is the count. Up 
Barja set to deliver. Swing and a miss, out number two. That'll bring up Alex Barker Hook, the first baseman who pitched an incredible game last night. He struck out nine hitters and went six innings to help the Hillers win game two. Also contributed at the plate. Scored a couple runs after drawing a couple walks. Wind up and the pitch. Here's a strike. Tim McDonald on the balls and strikes for the umpiring crew today. Swing and a miss. Runner taking off from first and a stolen base for Sheamus. And two is the count. Wind up and the pitch. And that'll get away from the catcher. One and two. Seamus staying put at second base. Quickly gathered up by Coleman. Wind up and the pitch. Down low, two and two. Set to deliver. Swing and a miss, and there's out number three. We are scoreless as we head to the top of the second on HCAM. Top of the second inning, we are scoreless between Hopkinton and Framingham. In game three of this best of three series to advance to the championship round, Nate Thurber, the second baseman, steps in for Framingham. Benny Perpera on the mound for Hopkinton. Four, five, and six, two up for Framingham. Nate Thurber, Rodrigo Ramirez, and Nick Spring. Wind up and the pitch. Swing and a miss. I'll make it an 0-2 count. Prepara deals, fouled away. Thurber, Ramirez, and Spring do up against Vinny Perpera, who's had a good season for Hopkinton senior Ruth, certainly a promising pitcher. A little outside there. Inside pitch there, two and two. Wind up and the pitch, inside. Full count now on Thurber. And this is going to be foul. Taking a look at Vinny Perpera's stats on the season. He's pitched just three innings total for Hopkinton, but he's one of those double rostered players on the senior Ruth team, playing some AAU ball, but has some very good stuff. As this is hit up the left side, glove by Sheamus. Throw to first, not a problem. Five to three, four out number one. That'll bring up Rodrigo Ramirez. Actually, Perpera did pitch against the this Framingham team during the regular season. Tom Nappy, happy to be with you for Hopkinton Senior Ruth Playoff Baseball. Game three of a three-game series against Framingham. And pitch inside. One zero. Swing and a miss. One out in the inning. Swing and a 
Swing and a miss there. Wind up and the pitch. Set to deliver. There's strike three, two away. That'll bring up Nick Spring. Set to deliver. Little outside. One and O count. There's a strike. One and one on Nick Spring. Purpura deals. A little outside. Two and one. The Ashland Sevens also in action tonight in the final four as this is hit up the middle and it's going to get by everybody. Infield fly ball hit by Nick Spring and that'll bring up Andrew Keene, the center fielder. Well, Seamus came charging in from third base, just kind of overran it. And then Ethan DeYoung did the same. So a little blue pit for spring. One on, two outs. Andrew Keene to the plate. Good turnout on hand to support this Hopkinton senior routine. Checking at first, runner back safe. Check in once again, and the runner's back. There's a strike. Wind up and the pitch. Nope, he's going to check in at first. Runner back safe. Set the deal, swing and a miss. One and two count now. And this is hit up the left side. It takes a slow roll, barehanded by Sheamus, throw over, and he got him. A nice play by Ronnie Sheamus. Five to three, four out number three. We head to the bottom of the second. Between Hopkinton, Senior Ruth, and Framingham, we are scoreless on H camp. Bottom of the second inning, the Hiller is coming back up to the plate. Five, six, and seven do up. Jack Breslin, Dylan Locke, as well as John Waters to face Nick Parja. Scoreless game here as we enter the bottom of the second. Wind up and the pitch. There's a strike. Set to deliver. Outside, one and one. Jack Breslin hitting a 469 on this season, 526 on base percentage. 32 at bats. Another ball there, two and one. He has driven in 12 runs and scored eight. Wind up and the pitch. Breaking pitch. That's in there for strike. Set to deliver. 
Swing and a miss. There's out number one. That'll bring up Dylan Locke, the catcher. Well, it looks like we may have a pitcher's duel on our hands tonight. Nick Parja up against Vinny Perpera. And he hit him. So Locke gets the free pass. That'll bring up John Waters, the DH. Waters, a 250 batting average on the season, 400 on base percentage, just stayed at bats. And he'll get a piece of this one up the left side, past the dive of the third baseman, and handled by the shortstop, but he doesn't have a play. An infield single for Waters. Locke advances the second, Cam Jarrett to the plate. Cam Jarrett on the season, a 211 batting average, 238 on base percentage. A tremendous hockey player as well. Wind up and the pitch. There's a strike. Couldn't hold. Two on, one out for the Hillers. Three RBIs on the season for Jarrett. Two runs scored. Leg lift and the pitch. Down low and a nice block by Cody Coleman. Well, Coleman's been busy behind the plate so far tonight. Now, coming up with a couple of nice blocks. Set the deal. And this is chopped in the air over to left field and dropped by the shortstop. And now having to advance to third is the runner from second. He's thrown out. Well, Alexis Rivera went... Backpedaled to try to get to that ball, fell right out of his glove, but they end up getting the force out. So Jarrett reaches on the 6-5 force out, two away. And that'll bring up Ethan DeYoung, the shortstop. Swing and a miss, 0-1. So Ethan, a 200 batting average and 25 at bats, 333 on base percentage. Wind up and the pitch. Takes a strike, 0 and 2. Parja deals. And a little high, says the home plate umpire. Tim McDonald, 1 and 2. Line up and the pitch, and there's strike three. That'll wrap up inning number two. To the top of the third we go. We are scoreless on H-Cam. Top of the third inning, scoreless game so far. In game three of this playoff series between Hopkinton and Framingham, eight, nine, and 10 do up for Framingham. Of course, there is a 10-man lineup at the senior Ruth level. Brian O'Donnell, the first baseman, to start things off. Nate Thurber, the second baseman, to bat second this inning, followed by Nick Parja, the pitcher. Perpera set to deal. Up high. One and oh. And that is a little high there, 2-0. and oh. Winner of this series advances to the best of three championship series. Uh, take on Marlboro as there's a strike from Vinny, 2-1. and one. That series would take place Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Hopkinton hosting the Thursday and Saturday games as they are the one seed, two and two. Wind up and the pitch, a little high there, full count.
Purpura deals, and there's a swing and a miss, so number one. I'll bring up Nate Thurber. Discussion between Dylan Locke and Vinny Purpura. Set to deliver, and there's a bunt that is foul. Oh, and one. Well, this could be one of those games where you just have to try to manufacture some runs with the two very solid pitchers out there today. Thurber steps back in. And he'll get a piece of this one. Glove by Seamus. Throw to first. Not a problem. Five to three. Four out number two. Nice play there by Sheamus. That was gold glove-like. Now will bring up Nick Parja, the pitcher. Line up and the pitch. There's a strike. Swing and a miss. Oh, and two. Set to deliver. And there's strike three to wrap up the top of the third. The Hillers coming up in the bottom of the inning. You are tuned in to Hopkinton Senior Ruth Playoff Baseball on H Camp. Bottom of the third inning, a scoreless game between Hopkinton and Framingham. Mike Bernie set to step in, the left fielder. Bernie Ambersoni, Sheamus do up this inning. To face inning. Nick Parja, who's pitching well so far. Line up and the pitch, and this is going to be hit in the air over to right field, and it's caught. A leaping grab by Nick Spring, one away. Good catch there by Nick Spring, who had a spring up to reel that one in. That'll bring up Tommy Ambersoni. Ambersoni reached via walk to start off the game. Line up and the pitch, swing and a miss on the breaking ball. And he deals, and Parja delivers a ball there. One and one. Parja set to deal, leg lift and the pitch. And this is chopped up the right side. Slow roller, picked up by Parja, flip the first, and they'll get the out. Well, Ambersoni has a lot of speed going up the line, but not that much, and Ronnie Sheamus will step in. Leg lift and the pitch. There's a strike. Bottom of the third inning, pitcher's duel here at the Hopkinton High School turf so far. Line up and the pitch, and that hit him. Sheamus is aboard with two outs, and now Connor Kelly, the right fielder, will step in. Coach Simo asking Seamus if he's okay down at first base after taking one for the team. Wind up and the pitch. There's a strike. Oh and one.
Connor Kelly, a 286 batting average, 333 on base percentage. Takes that one inside. One and one. Well, the Hillers have done a lot of damage this season with two outs. And they have a runner at first and two outs right now. Swing and a miss. And the throw to second, not in time. Stolen base for Sheamus. That's his second steal of the game. One and two. Arja set to deliver. Outside. Line up and the pitch. And this is hit in the air to left field. Could be trouble. That'll get down for a base hit. Sheamus being waved around. And it's a 1-0 Hillers lead. An RBI single by Connor Kelly. Alex Barker Hook coming to the plate. He's having a nice season both on the mound and at the plate. 278 batting average, 422 on base percentage. 11 RBIs and six runs scored. Good piece of hitting there by Kelly right to that gap in left field. Runner taking off, throw to second. Not in time. Third steal of the game by the Hillers base runners. How about this, the Hillers coming into the game had 45 steals, a 938 steal percentage. They do not get caught a lot. Wind up and the pitch, and this is foul just over us. Might have been a home run in the softball field area. Hillers have only been caught stealing three times this season and have 45 stolen bases as that's fouled away. Impressive numbers. They certainly have a lot of speed up and down this lineup. Connor Kelly with a bit of a lead at second base as this is chopped foul over towards the Framingham bench area. Battle continues between Parga and Barker Hook. Parga threatens the throw over to second to get Kelly back to the bag. Wind up and the pitch. Down low. That'll fill up the count. Takes a look at second and deals. There's strike three. Got him looking, but the Hillers do play to run, and they lead it one to nothing as we head to the top of the fourth on H Cam. Top of the fourth inning, a one nothing Hopkinton lead. Top of the order due up for Framingham. Good amount of fans all around us on hand here this evening. To take in game three of this playoff series. Winner advances to the championship round against Marlboro. Took down Medway in two straight games to win the best of three. Cody Coleman, Luke Spring, Alexis Rivera due up. to face Vinny Perpera, who's pitched a very good game so far today. Line up and the pitch. A little outside, one and oh. Leg left and the pitch. There's a strike. There's the one one. Little inside, two and one. 
Coleman flew out back in the first inning. Prepper deals, there's a strike, two and two. Line up and the pitch, and this is up the right side, gloved by the second baseman, throw over, not a problem. Four to three for out number one. That'll bring up Luke Spring. Luke Spring grounded out in his only plate appearance in the first inning. Wind up and the pitch. There's ball one. Set to deliver, and this is chopped foul towards the parking lot, right near John's car, one and one. Tom Nappy on the call, John Ritz on camera here at Hopkinton High School for Senior Ruth Playoff Baseball. A one-one pitch to Luke Spring, and this is chopped foul. One and two. One, two pitch, fouled off. The series started this past Saturday right here at the turf. Framingham got the five to three win in game one. But then the Hillers retaliated last night over at Bowditch Field in Framingham with a seven to one win. That's fouled away. The battle continues between Spring and Purpura. Wind up and the pitch. A little low. Two and two. Set to deliver. Swing and a miss. Out number two. I'll bring up Alexis Rivera, the shortstop. Hiller is leading one to nothing here in the top of the fourth. Vera flew out back in the first inning. He takes a strike there. There's the 0-1. Chopped foul, 0-2. Lights starting to come on here at the turf fields. As the sun starts to set. And this is hit in the air over to center field and caught. Four out number three. One, two, three, they go. To the bottom of the fourth we go. Hopkinton leading Framingham. One to nothing in game three of this best of three series on HCAM. Bottom of the fourth inning do up for the Hillers of Hopkinton, five, six, and seven. Jack Breslin, Dylan Locke, and John Waters to face Nick Parga. Breslin struck out in his only plate appearance. A one to nothing lead for Hopkinton. Wind up and the pitch down low. Set to deliver. Another low pitch there. Two and oh. Leg lift and the pitch. Outside, three and oh. And there 
is ball four, four pitch walk to Breslin and that'll bring up Dylan Locke, the catcher. Wind up and the pitch, there's a strike. Breslin with a slight lead at first. Up high, the back pick, and did they get him? No. Just able to get there in time. Close call, good throw down by Coleman. Here's the 1-1. One -one. Little high there, two and one. Parja looks at first and delivers right back to Parja. Throw to second, they get one, and that's all they'll get. Uh, one to four out for the force out. One away, that'll bring up John Waters. Waters steps in. Slight lead at first by Locke. Wind up and the pitch. A little outside there. Waters singled in his only plate appearance today as he fouls that one away. One and one. Lock with a slight lead over at first base, wind up and the pitch. Swing and a miss. And Coleman immediately turns towards the first base bag and threatens the back pick. One two pitch. Parga looks at first and delivers. Now the throw down, runner back safe. Line up and the pitch. A little high there. Two and two. Well, Framingham knows how speedy this Hillers lineup is, and they do like to steal, especially from first to second, so they're keeping these runners at bay. As this is hit high in the air, right side, and out of the reach of everyone. Count remains two and two. One on, one out. A one nothing lead for the Hillers. Runner taking off as that's fouled away. Runner will have to retreat. Count remains two and two. Hillers already have three steals in the game. That steal that Ronnie Sheamus had last inning Helped produce the only run of the game. Checking at first, runner back safe. It was Connor Kelly with an RBI single to score the only run of the game to this point. Runner taking off as this is going to be fouled off and they got the runner. So they get the strikeout and they get Dylan Locke on the steal attempt and that will retire the side. In the bottom of the fourth to the top of the fifth we go. Hopkinton leading one to nothing on H Cam. Top of the fifth inning, due up for Framingham, four, five, and six. Nate Thurber, the second baseman, Rodrigo Ramirez, the extra hitter, and Nick Spring, 
the right fielder to face Vinny Perpera. Thurber steps in. He's 0 for 1 today. There's a strike. Go oh and 1. Line up and the pitch. Swing and a miss. So far, a much cleaner game defensively for both teams, but especially Framingham, who had. Five errors last night. And there is ball one, one and two. A little inside on that last pitch. Wind up and the pitch. And this is going to be a foul ball. Count remains one and two. Leg lift and the pitch. And this is chopped in the air over to center field. That'll get down for a hit. A nice effort by Cam Jarrett, but just couldn't quite get the glove there. And it is a single to start off the top of the fifth by Nate Thurber. Rodrigo Ramirez will step in. Runner on, no outs for Framingham. Line up and the pitch, down low. It's only the second base runner of the day for Framingham. Line up and the pitch. A little low there, two and oh. Purpura checks in, runner back. Line up and the pitch, and this is hit in the air right to the second baseman. Throw to first, can they double him up? No. The umpire had a little hesitation there, but the runner got back safe, according to the base umpire. One away. That'll bring up Nick Spring, the right fielder. And that was certainly a close one over at first base. Here's a bunt attempt, throw down, runner back. Oh and one count on spring. Line up and the pitch, fouled away. Oh and two. Well, this Hiller's team certainly very sound defensively. Line up and the pitch, and he got him, runner taking off, throw to second, and they double them up. Thurber caught stealing, and Nick Spring strikes out to wrap up the top of the fifth. To the bottom of the inning we go. Hopkinton leading Framingham one to nothing on HCAM. Bottom of the fifth inning, eight, nine, and 10 do up for the Hillers. Cam Jarrett, Ethan DeYoung, and Mike Burney face Nick Parga, who's in the game for his fifth inning of work. A one to nothing lead for the Hillers. The only run of the game scoring in the third inning was an RBI single by Connor Kelly to score Ronnie Sheamus. Parga set the deal. Swing and a miss. Pitcher's duel out there today. Wind up and the pitch. And this is hit in the air over to center field and caught for the first out. I'll bring up Ethan DeYoung, the shortstop.
Wind up and the pitch down low. Here's the 1 0. There's a strike. One and one. Set to deliver. Little inside there, two and one. Wind up and the pitch. Swing and a miss. That'll even up the count. Set to deliver. Fouled away. Count remains two and two. Wind up and the pitch. And he'll get a piece of this one up the left side. That's through the gap and that will be a one out single for Ethan DeYoung. I'll bring up Mike Bernie, the left fielder, well he was due up. Looks like we may have a pitch hitter here. And it'll be, oh there he is. All right, Tommy Ambersoni thought it was his turn at the plate started walking out. Well, Mike Bernie is in there. Line up and the pitch. Inside. One on, one out for Hopkinton. Checking at first, runner back safe. Good piece of hitting by Ethan DeYoung. This is the third hit of the day for Hopkinton. That's fouled away. Line up and the pitch. There's a breaking pitch in there for a strike. That was a nice pitch there by Parga. Leg lift and the pitch, and this is chopped foul. Look out. Into the parking lot it goes. And it bounced off a couple cars there, hopefully not mine. Didn't hear any glass shatter, so that's a good sign. Wind up and the pitch. There's a ball. Two and two. Top of the order, due up next for Hopkinton. A little inside, good eye there, a full count. Checking at first, runner back safe. Set to deliver, runner taking off as this is hit in the air right side and it is gonna drop for a hit and everyone's gonna be safe. Good awareness by Ethan DeYoung, turn around, started heading back towards first base, realizing it could be caught but then Saw it drop and is safely aboard at second. Mike Bernie aboard on the single. Tommy Ambersoni to the plate with two on and one out. Inside there, one and oh. Wind up and the pitch. Down low. Oh, in this elimination game, you wonder what the leash will be with Nick Parga if he starts to run into struggles. Line up and the pitch. Up high. Three and O. Oh. 
Just the second time the Hillers have had multiple base runners in this game. There's a walk, and now they'll have bases full. Young up to third, Bernie to second, Ambersoni to first, Ronnie Sheamus to the plate. And we're going to get a mound discussion here. As Coach Greg Roth Rochford comes out to talk to his pitcher. One out in the inning, bases full of Hillers. Dangerous part of the lineup coming up. Ronnie Sheamus has reached on a force out so far and been hit by a pitch. And he scored the only run of the game on the Connor Kelly RBI single back in the third. And now has a chance to open this game up a little bit. Takes that one inside, one and oh. Well, Parga having trouble the last couple of hitters finding the strike zone. Make him pitch here. And he'll get a piece of this one up the left side. Love by the shortstop, he'll throw home, and it's in time. So they get the force out at home. Good awareness there by Rivera. A six to two force out, two away in the inning. Bernie up to third, Amber Sony to second, Seamus to first, and Connor Kelly to the plate. The lefty steps in, and he gives this one a whack, hit in the air, over to left center, and it is caught for the out, and that will retire the side in the bottom of the fifth. To the top of the sixth we go, Hillers leading Framingham, one to nothing on H camp. Top of the sixth inning, a one to nothing Hopkinton lead. Framingham getting out of a one out bases loaded jam in the bottom of the fifth. Seven, eight, and nine do up for Framingham. Andrew Keene, Brian O'Donnell, and Antonio Rivera. Face Finney Perpera. We do have some warm up action for Hopkinton. Wind up and the pitch. There's a strike. Framingham down to their final six outs. Wind up and the pitch. And this is hit in the air over to right field. That'll get down. The throw to first. Is it in time? Yes. Wow. Nice throw there by Connor Kelly. That ended up being a 9-3 to three out. And that'll bring up Brian O'Donnell, the first baseman. Not every day you see that. And Keen didn't seem too happy about the call, but it looked in time to me. There's a strike. Oh, and one on O'Donnell. Line up and the pitch. A little low. One and one. Time called. Getting loose for Hopkinton is John Waters. We'll see if they leave Perpera in for the complete game or if they end up wanting to close it out with Waters. One and two. Swing and a miss there. Set to deliver. A little outside, two and two. He deals, and this is up the right side. Slow roller, glove by the first baseman, and he'll run it over, step on the bag for out number two. Three unassisted ground out, and that'll bring up Antonio Rivera, the left fielder. Line up and the pitch, 
And this is chopped up the left side, handled by Sheamus. Throw to first, not a problem. One, two, three, they go. In the top of the sixth to the bottom of the inning we go. Hopkinton leading Framingham one to nothing on H cam. Bottom of the sixth inning, a one nothing lead for Hopkinton. A new pitcher for Framingham. Luke Spring is on the mound to take over pitching duties for Nick Parga, who really had a good start out there, silencing this very potent Hopkinton lineup. And first pitch is a strike. Line up and the pitch. That is up high to Alex Barker Hook, who's 0 for 2 on the day, 1 and 1. I believe that's Nick Spring who moved over to, excuse me, uh, as that's filed away. Uh, Nick Anderson, I believe, is the new right fielder for Framingham. Wind up and the pitch, down low. Spring set to deal. And this is hit in the air over to right field. That'll get down for a base hit. And keeping on going around first is Barker Hook. To second base he goes. And did that get over the fence? That might have been a ground rule double. I don't know. They did collect it. But it is going to be a stand-up double for Alex Barker Hook to start off this bottom of the six. Jack Breslin to the plate. Well, Nick Parga went five innings. Giving up four hits, just one run, and striking out five. Good start for Parga. Really kept his team in the game. As Breslin took one high there. Line up and the pitch to the lefty. Fouled away. Breslin has struck out and walked so far in this game. One and one count. Wind up and the pitch, and he'll get a piece of this one over to right center it goes. Barker Hook is going to be held up at third. Runners on the corners for the Hillers. And now Dylan Locke will step to the plate. Dylan Locke has been hit by a pitch and reached via a force out. But the Hillers trying to add some insurance. Have two on, no outs in the bottom of the sixth with the one nothing lead. Spring set to deal, up high. Line up and the pitch, and this is hit in the air, over to right center, and that'll get down for a hit. Being waved around is Barker Hook, he will score with ease. Following him is gonna be Breslin, he will score with ease. The throw to third, not in time. It's a two RBI triple for Dylan Locke. The Hillers take a three to nothing lead on the two RBI triple by the catcher, Dylan Locke. And now John Waters stepping in. What a good piece of hitting there. Hiller is making contact against Luke Spring. Three straight hits. Well, you wonder if Framingham regrets not leaving Parga in the game. Line up and the pitch. Inside, one and oh. Set to deliver, fouled away, one and one. 
Hillers now lead it three to nothing here in the bottom of the six. Framingham will be down to their final three outs next inning. Wind up and the pitch, and that hit him right off the helmet. I'll bring up Cam Jarrett, the second baseman. Runners on the corners now for the Hillers as they look to add some more insurance. And will we have a pitching change here? And it looks like for the moment they'll leave Spring out there. Some words of encouragement from Coach Rochford. Jared 0 for 2 on the day. But he would love to make some contact here. Up high, runner from first takes off. An easy steal for John Waters. Wind up and the pitch, fouled away. The 1-1 one, one pitch, and this is up the left side, past the glove of the third baseman, one in to score. Here comes another run in to score as John Waters will score as well. The throw down in time, the throw to second, and they will get Cam Jarrett. But credit Cam Jarrett with the two RBI single, and then thrown out trying to advance to second. And it's a 5 nothing lead for the Hillers. Ethan DeYoung steps in. Well, they nearly got Waters going home, but he was just able to slide in there. Swing and a miss there. Only one out in the inning still. Bases are clear for Hopkinton. As they'll have some added comfort heading into the top of the seventh. Down low. Ethan DeYoung, one for two on the day. He'll file that one off. And Waters is going to get loose. Looks like he may come in and try to close the game. And this is going to be a foul ball up the left side. Line up and the pitch, foul tip. Spring set to deal, fouled away, the battle continues. Count remains one and two on to Young. Fouled into the backstop. Now Luke Spring came in to relieve here in this bottom of the six and the Hillers have rallied. Four hits in the inning and four runs in the inning. That pitch is inside, two and two. Line up and the pitch, swing and a miss. There's out number two. I'll bring up Mike Burney, the left fielder. 
Miller is now leading five to nothing. As they add four in the sixth. Line up and the pitch, down low. Set to deliver. A little low there, two and oh. Line up and the pitch. And this is up the middle, glove by the second baseman, throw to first, he got him. Four to three, four out number three, but the Hillers played four runs of insurance and they lead it five to nothing as we head to the top of the seventh on each cam. Top of the seventh inning, Framingham down to their final three outs and Hopkinton has a nice five to nothing lead John Waters in to try to close things out and send the Hillers to the championship round against Marlboro. It would be a best of three series starting on a Thursday night. Swing and a miss. It would be right here at the turf fields of Hopkinton. They would have home field advantage if they hang on and get the win here tonight since they are the one seed. Line up and the pitch. Down low. One and one. Games would be Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Line up and the pitch. Fouled away by Parga, one and two. Actually, that's Nick Anderson at the plate. Set to deliver. Little low, two and two. Well, Vinny Perpera went six very solid innings today against Framingham, giving up just a few hits. Wind up it, and the pitch hits fouled away over to the softball fields. Gave up just one hit to Framingham today. Impressive stuff by Purpura. Swing and a miss. There's out number one. I'll bring up Cody Coleman, the catcher. Purpura struck out five hitters today as well in his six innings worked. That's fouled away. Waters set to deliver. There's a strike. There's the 0-2. And this is hit in the air right to the second baseman, two away. Luke Spring will step in, Framingham down to their final out. Line up and the pitch, down low. Set to deliver. A little low there, two and oh. I'll make that two hits that Purpura gave up, but a tremendous performance nonetheless. Wind up and the pitch. Another low ball there, three and oh. Alexis Rivera do up, shall Luke Spring reach? Waters deals, and it's a walk. That'll bring up Alexis Rivera, the shortstop. So a runner on first, two outs for Framingham.
Line up and the pitch. There's a strike. Oh and one. Slight lead over at first by Spring as that pitch is going to be ball one, one and one. Set to deliver, and the base runner taking off for second, and he will have the steal. Pitch was low, two and one. Stolen base by Spring, so a runner on second with two outs. Line up and the pitch. And this is hit in the air, left side, gloved by the shortstop, throw to first. Did he get him? No. So Rivera beats out the infield single and spring up to third. Framingham has a little something going here with two outs. Runners on the corners, Nate Thurber to the plate. Thurber one for two today. He's grounded out and singled. And runner from first taking off, throw to second, off the mark. And now the runner from third gonna score. Well, a smooth move there by Framingham as they force the throw with Rivera taking off and send Spring home, and they are on the board. We're not done yet. Line up and the pitch. There's a strike, throw to third, and the runner is safe. Second steal for Rivera. Well, Framingham, they know they have to make something happen here. One, one count. Line up and the pitch. There's a strike, one and two. Set to deliver, and this is going to be up the left side, gloved by the shortstop, throw to first, in time, and the Hopkinton Hillers come away with the win in this game and the series win as they defeat Framingham five to one. Hopkinton has five runs on nine hits, no errors. Framingham, one run on three hits and no errors. A tremendously well-pitched game by Vinny Perpera. John Waters came in to close it out and the Hillers bats got going in the bottom of the sixth to add some security and take the series win over Framingham as they win game three, five to one. Hopkinton advances to take on Marlboro starting Thursday night right here at the Hopkinton High School turf fields. Stay tuned to hcam.tv as well as our social media pages for all the upcoming details on the Senior Legion Championship Series. For John Ritz on camera, I'm Tom Nappy. The final score for the final time, Hopkinton takes down Framingham in game three of this best of three series by a final of five to one and moves on to take on Marlboro in the championship round Thursday night. We thank you for watching Hopkinton Senior Ruth Baseball. Take care, enjoy the rest of your day, and we'll talk to you again soon. Good night, everybody.